Big difference between Disney Marvel and Disney Star Wars, and I might get some clap back for this because there have been financial successes, but there hasn't been any storytelling successes in Disney Star Wars. You'll have maybe Andor. Some people will kind of be lukewarm on Rogue One. The MCU had a lot of financial and story successes that were universally loved, so they have a much better chance of turning things around. And what I've heard is they, they're actually making an effort, but they're going to have to go with what they got getting the Russo brothers back. It's it's better for the Russo brothers than maybe even for Marvel because they suck on their own. Uh, mm. But they, they're good within the MCU, and I think it's a good move. I think it's actually a good move. I it mean, was something I wanted to talk about, actually, the Russo yeah. brothers potentially coming back to Marvel. I mean, you know, they've they've directed some of the biggest hits within the MCU. Um, you know, they, they certainly wrapped up the Infinity Saga pretty well. Um, if they're brought back though to try and salvage something from the um, the multiverse saga, like I, I I I struggle to believe that's even a thing at this point. Like, but it's writers a saga. or directors, because if they're just directors, it depends on who's writing their directing, and if yeah. it's yeah. some of the writers they got now, Waldron like is we gone. Sam, yeah, it's yeah, Waldron is out. Gone. That's yeah. the yeah. best news you could so, imagine. Uh, they also um, Marvel fired a bunch of people last year. Like quietly, they got, uh, oh. you know, there's the ones we knew about, but there's a lot of producers that are gone that are uh, from from this era. So they have been trying um, to clean house. Well, again, with the characters they have left, though, it's going to be really tough. The to team, I, I think it's funny when they talked about like the, the latest, like the upcoming like Avengers movie. They originally had Destin Daniel Cretton, which is just a fantastic name. So he, he did Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Uh, he bailed out on Kang Dynasty. Um, oh my god because it was uh yeah it wasn't working out uh they actually offered it to sean levy and he said no <laughs> he's like nah, i don't want to do this shit <laughs> which um, i think is great what you want for the russos is to get marcus and mcfeely back right they're the screenwriters team mm -hmm. on the other hand right winter soldier civil war infinity war some would say that's an amazing track record end games like Ugh. so but you could also say the pressure was enormous with Endgame. But then again, I don't think yeah. the pressure is fucking lower yeah. with you know an infinite a uh, multiversal blah blah blah. So uh, all I have to say about this is just yeah, I'll give them a shot. <laughs> I guess I prefer them I mean, to all I, the other options. I think it can't be any worse than what they're doing now. The problem is that when they did, like I arguably think that Winter Soldier is the best MCU movie as it stands. Civil War and Infinity War were both really good, but the problem is that they were also working with scripts that were really good and characters that mattered. Um, I cannot name one relevant fucking character that's left to do anything. That's the problem. Like, How dare you? Echo is still out there, Jay. Yeah, Mom. you're right. Oh man, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Jesus, like, it's just they wrote off everybody that was relevant, and now, you know, when you don't like a Marvel project, it's because you're an old racist white man, so I'm kind of like, uh, I don't I don't really know that the Russos can reel me back in with this at this point. Daredevil has yet to truly been ruined, uh, be ruined in his new version, even though he will probably be ruined. And then, I'm yeah, sorry, I mean, did they, we they not see him no barefoot walk of shame out of no. She-Hulk's oh, house wrong. after she he emasculated him? Tell me that Come he on. did that just so he could get his own series, and it was a walk, it was a strut of uh, pride or something. No, yeah. no, Charlie, he had Charlie no Cox. shoes on. <laughs> if, the, if there's some kind of award for being a good sport, like Charlie Cox deserves to get it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's watched that damn show. Like, think about all the yeah. shows that have five, six, seven seasons, and then Go back and rewatch Daredevil, and they canceled it after three seasons. It's that yeah, was unthinkable. A, that was like, such a time of plenty where you could cancel yeah. amazing shows like that. Cancel think, like oh, was something better is around the corner. No, it fucking wasn't. One of the no, best written, one of the best written shows, just overall shows in the last ten years is Daredevil. Not superhero yep. yeah. show, best it's written good. shows. I got a uh, a question for Gary because I don't get to talk to him too much. But um, what do you think about this new Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings thing? Not to keep derailing. I'm like the freaking derailer here. Sorry, but I, uh, I, I'm I know. Sorry. Like theory, I had a schedule for this talk. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll be this. very <laughs> quick. I'm so, I'll, so I'll, sorry. I'll be, I'm so sorry. I'll give a no, quick answer. Fine. So he's involved in War of the Rohirrim, which is going to be a bait and switch. It's going to be about Helm Hammerhand's daughter instead of Helm Hammerhand. So fuck that movie. And uh, I don't think he should come back. We just saw Russell T. Davies come back to Doctor Who, and I think it'll probably be something similar. Stay away. Okay. You think Preserve Peter your Jackson legacy. Would, 
you think he would stick by his old uh, statement of like, yeah, we had our own politics, but we didn't want to inject them into this because mm. like that's not the story that we, you know, people Tolkien change. wanted to tell. Yeah, do, like, do you think he would stick with that, or is he going to be like, well, you know, know, we need War to make it relevant here, um, for a modern audience? Isn't that uh, his writing partners, Philippa? Boyan and all that, like they're Philippa the ones Boyan's that are doing is that. writing War of the Rohirrim, the right. anime that's coming out that I was really looking forward to until I found out it was a giant bait and switch. So that kind of se severs any hope I had. Yeah. Because yeah, on the note of the Russos coming back, I thought that you might have referenced how Russell T coming back was a fucking nightmare for Doctor Who. So maybe and the know. same thing could happen too. If people change, it depends who the writers are. It depends with Marvel. It depends on who the producers are. It's for reference, by that the is way, produced content. Uh, Russell T came back. He's like the the essentially Jesus level writer for Doctor Who in the modern age, along with David Tennant, who's considered one of the favorite Doctor Who's. And it's the, the what they created is practically bashed by everyone. Not just it's not an just abomination. Like myself, Gary, and the spheres surrounding us. We're talking about every fucking per everyone I know who even likes it have had mm. to say publicly, "I can't be that critical of this because I know Russell T myself." And it's like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> it was awful complete failure so yeah i don't know feels like we're in a interesting time uh, in this i i uh theory i don't want anything made of things i like right now i don't want any character like yeah. any star wars fan going i want plagueis no you don't you no, don't want plagueis in this. I you don't want to mention just wait stay away from years. revan stay away Dude, from I, yeah. Tarn. please anyone that has been hit yet don't please please don't adapt them well they kind of did the revan thing in this one too with the mind wipe hey yep I noticed that I was like, oh, they they revender. They raised what, her memories. What the deal? Like, why didn't you just use that when you're fighting someone? Just mind wipe them. But you have to concentrate <laughs> uninterrupted you attack it? for 30 it's seconds. Like, and in, then in roll a, a saber lock, and then you're just yeah. like, <laughs> roll a crit. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Whoa, dude, can anyone explain to me why the fuck they she they couldn't leave together? The three of them. I, That's I, what I said. Train I said yeah, this in my review. Point? I was like, okay, here's a crazy idea. Like, you all go together, and then, like, at the end, like, when you're in a safe place, way away from all this, just go your separate ways. And, Bro, like, you got Ushug twins willing to walk no off problem. with you. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? Why'd you send one back? <laughs> you have one person, <laughs> one spirit, and two bodies, so train both of them. Technically, it's not is, is, it <laughs> is it because his ship seemed to have just two cockpits and that's it? Like, that's it's all the Mandalorian had. problem. He only well, had it's one so spot smaller. Back there. We called it. We knew they were going to do some sort of mind wipe or stupid shit to explain some of this because well, for Star very Trek. Clever because at the end, the good one is now with the Sith and the bad one is now with the Sith. She Jedi. doesn't remember anything. So she's she has, obviously not guilty of, mur she, of the murder. She doesn't remember. She now. only has her yeah. memories from when she's eight. So is she a fuck? She's like an eight year old kid just in a grown body. How is she going to help oh Vanessa do anything? God, I hate Disney right now. They <laughs> can just get her a coloring book and call it a fucking day. She has those so memories, though. I thought he was wiping everything of her sister. So it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's when she was eight. Kid. <laughs> yeah. The thing yeah, is, why doesn't mom. she talk like an eight year old? That would have been funny as hell, dude. <laughs> it's so painful. Just start fighting Can each I other. But what, but what as well, by the way, when she was eight. You, if any of you were faced with the concept that someone was about to wipe your memory of someone you've known your whole life and someone you've known in the past few years of the most developed parts of your life, just wipe it on the spot. And you just go, okay. It's like, he is about to kill you. Yeah, literally. Just, you will not exist as you would. Wipes her more. What if he wipes her too hard for lack of a better dish? I was going to say, like, 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 well, I don't yeah. unwipe her. Well, no, no. Remember that line where she's like, she's like, find me or something. She's like, I will find I you what or, the fuck or whatever. That means. Well, because so, Revan so obviously, sort of wears off eventually, right? Obviously, what? season two, she's gonna start like getting her memories back or Flashback. something like that, and then yeah. she's gonna be like, the huh? season two it's, Star Wars. It'll theory. happen. Don't it's happening, <laughs> Gary. It's happening. It's happening. You know what's so fucking Hashtag stupid about this two, as well, let's right? Go. <laughs> they didn't even have to wipe her memory anyway. Like, just take off, fucking fly away to a place that you didn't tell her you were going to. That's yeah. it. She can't tell you. She can't tell the Jedi anything. She can't tell them where you're going. Where, you, the, where they it. can find you, anything. But it's so much more dramatic if they erase her memory and then let no. Amanda Stenberg pretend that she really knows how to cry. <laughs> the problem is, right, Smilo doesn't like her because she exposed him, quote unquote, but he's willing to let her go as long as her memory is wiped. Just take her with you. She can hang out on the planet and do other stuff while you train with Osha. She can, she she can, she can just have fun with Darth Plagueis, you know. Like, <laughs> exactly. Play Tetris with him or something.
chess. They, they probably figure it out. Wipe our minds of this show, please. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, where's a men in black like neuro whatever when you need it? Hey, this is my neuralizer. Oh. Yeah. Death sticks, please. <laughs> St- shows like this are why I drink. Um, let me just read out this uh, super chat that came in as we we're doing it. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? John dude? Gates. Then Kevin Feige <laughs> watching the show. How the fuck can she not like it? We gave her Kate Bishop, Echo, Shuri, Jane Thor, She Hulk, Sylvie, and multiple Marvels. How many O op- some sorry, how many more OP chips do I have to throw at these women before they like the thing that they used to like? I know it's well you only named Pentagon's- like seven percent of the new Marvel heroes. So. Yeah, what about Marvel's Katie? Come on, man. Hell yeah. Oh, Misogynist. It's almost as if jangling women in front of women is not what we what we want. Like I was happy when it was mostly men. That was fine. I didn't <laughs> like, mind not... Kate Bishop. She wasn't like "See you next Tuesday" to um, Clint, and like she sort of revered him. Like it was the least. Of course, then she like girl boss to Kingpin, and that was the thing. But overall, her relationship wasn't horrible. Haley is nice enough. Uh, Steinfeld. But, but I mean, uh, uh, like, rather than all those shit characters that no one likes, just give us one good female character that like right. is genuinely brilliantly written and is really yeah. likable. That'd be great, and everyone will flock to them. You're asking That's for fine. almost the last you can't one. Even that. And it's like they're not even the they're not one. even trying realistically because Black Widow's movie wasn't great and it came after she was dead, so nobody Way gave a shit. Well, and when you consider the nice fact. <laughs> Yeah. When you consider the fact that Black Widow is such an inherently complicated character, but they reduced all her problems in Age of Ultron to her being sterilized, like it was like the only thing that mattered was that she had lady parts, which we can't call lady parts anymore, but whatever. That there, was my whole fucking point. You're not even trying to write relevant women. Like, there, it's there's the whole, so many... I can do this in heels, and you can't. Like, what the fuck? Can we write something of quality here? There's so many different versions of Black Widow within the MCU. Like, there's the really bland, generic girl boss type that we got in um, Iron Man 2. Then there's the, like, really interesting, well-developed character that we got in the first Avengers movie. Then, like you say, there's the the fairly one-dimensional, oh, I'm sad because I got sterilized and I'm a monster now. So uh, that that's all we got in Age of Ultron. And yeah. then it's just been kind of, like, fluctuating all over the place ever since then. You know, she we got a nice terrible. character that could play well off. Um, oh, she was good in America. In, I liked her in Winter Soldier a whole bunch. Yeah, yeah. She like, was great in Winter Soldier. She played well off Steve Rogers in that, which yeah. is an interesting aspect of her character. But even then, they could have delved so much deeper into her because in the comics, she was in the Red oh, yeah. Room and Bucky was like, they were a big deal. And they didn't even, they literally, it was a throwaway line in Civil War when she says, you could at least recognize me. And they could have literally formed an entire movie almost around her based solely on the content in the Red Room. But no, yeah. we got the Marvels. They, <laughs> like, remember when like Bucky was an interesting it. character that they were going to do something with? I like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Only um, I was a Bucky characters. stan for years. So Only there's nobody more identity. bitter about this shit than I am. I mean, he's just, he's just, he's the, he's just the most important part of two huge movies. I mean, yeah, it was the, 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 obvious setup. He's the secondary protagonist of the Cap trilogy. He's the one that's being built up alongside Cap. He's like, he's ready. No, he just, for his own yeah, shit. he just has to apologize for being white now. That's it. That's his only, his only role. <laughs> Just Welcome give Sebastian Stan a Luke Skywalker show and let's show. stop playing around. <laughs> so you mean you're not excited for Captain Black America Man, Brave New World Order, or whatever they're going to do with it now? It's uh, Captain Hulk. African American. Uh, Sorry. And, yeah, and, off. and uh, <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What's the budget now? Like 700 million? <laughs> At least. Ridiculous. At least. Well, they said four, right? And then you do that Bring thing with you add what they're on Africa. Can somebody, ask Red Letter, can somebody ask Red Letter Media how many starving children in Africa that would feed? You can, <laughs> you can fucking cure Africa of yeah. everything cure with Africa. the budget of this Easy. fucking movie. <laughs> I was going to say, they're going to have to reshoot now after a certain world event that took place. Have you seen oh the my fucking God. trailers? Like, uh oh. Yeah. Uh, that movie and Snow White are both, I think, around the same in what they've spent on reshoots. And it's probably going to make about as much back not that much no yeah, not, mean, not, not coming it's coming out in february and they're trying to duplicate the success of black panther because it's black history month right oh. so that's that's it's it's releasing on valentine's that that day that's exactly what they're doing that's well, why they, they want the that Madden february web. uh I, I think um i think wakanda forever proved that you're not going to replicate the success of black panther yeah, no do the valentine's day commercials. Sequel. 
but that's not going to stop a 23 year old marketing executive who graduated in women's studies to give it a shot so we'll see <laughs> I think if I was in charge of making Marvel <laughs> movies, I would mandate that they can't have a budget of more than a hundred million dollars each. I agree. Like hundred million it's is excessive. all you get because and that counts yeah, the like, catering. That's a because, lot. Because yeah, because if they can make four hundred, five hundred million globally, like that's that's it. You're in profit right there. And that that's that's the realm that you're sort of aiming for and, at and this you know, point with the MCU. You know how they could do that? Go back to the street level superheroes. You don't have to have this big bombastic galactic event. It's supposed to be rare. Just yeah, you know. Uh, I've always said this about DC: make a Batman TV series. You don't need to make Batman movies. Batman runs around the city. He doesn't need a bunch of special effects. Have him solving crimes with Robin in his yeah. prime with his rogues gallery of villains. It's the easiest slam dunk in the history of time, and they won't fucking do it. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I think Batman is most show. boring when he's with the Justice League. Like, if they yes. just gave us Batman doing his inner city Gotham shit, that would be much more interesting than him and Superman arguing over their mom's names. Like, all you Batman have to do is give me a good 1940s. 1940s yeah. has only been Batman for two weeks. How about that? It's well, that Kate weeks. Crusader thing coming out. <laughs> oh, it's no. the Kate Crusader with Asian you mean, Harley You mean woke, and... woke animated Batman? Uh, it's Bruce produ Tim. Produced, but no, produced by Jar Jar Abrams. That erases oh. the Bruce Tim. There's no Paul Dini. Yeah, no, it's going to suck. Hey, Gary, was there ever a comic where Batman got superpowers for like a moment? Yes. There's oh. multiple. Yes. Oh, yeah. shit. He gets that work out? Green Lantern rings. Uh, oh. There's a lot of times he, uh, not every time, but there are times he's saying it's not good if I have superpowers. <laughs> it's, it's I like that good. he recognizes yeah. he's insane because I feel like if yeah. somebody gave me superpowers, I would fucking like destroy something as well. So I think it's for oh, the I'd, best. I'd abuse that. that like, <laughs> I think it's for the best for sure, that nobody yeah. in here is ever given a position of power or a Green Lantern ring. I would, it be, would be a dictator, problematic. but I would be a benevolent dictator. So that's at least that. <laughs> I think that's an oxymoron. <laughs> Benevolent dictator. <laughs> People they, are nice about it. They have existed, it. apparently. Very I think we, a dictator sounds uh, exhausting. I'll force you to do stuff, but I'll be nice about it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, didn't Hancock like touch on that very same idea? Like, what if you had a superhero who was just kind of an asshole? Well, really you know what the original script was was for that? Because I know the guy who wrote the original script. Well, I'm a, no. I know the guy's brother. Uh, it was about... It's called Hancock... Because it's about a, a superhero who couldn't get his nut. That's and it was the most it was the most <laughs> sought after screenplay for two years in Hollywood. And uh then when Will Smith got it, he completely rewrote it. But that's how uh, it started out. That's why it falls apart in the second yeah. half and turns yeah, into exactly a, why it falls what, apart what in the second half. But there, there was people trying to out producers just going to war over that script. Over Hancock? Like the, it, over Hancock, like the, yes. At the time it was one of the most sought after scripts in Hollywood. Why? So that would have been like the boys, basically, like ten yes, years. Yes, it was the boys very much like the, of. Yeah, it was very much wanted of the boys of that time. It was very, yeah, 